Welcome back, everyone, to GTU. Take control of that pain that consumes your wrist to treat carpal tunnel syndrome. Dr. Robert Teixeira with University of Utah Health is here in this sponsored interview to share how they are helping. Welcome, doctor. We're so happy to have you. Thanks for having me. Let's jump right in. What is carpal tunnel and who gets it? So carpal tunnel is probably the most common cause of numbness in the hand that about 10% of people get throughout their lifetime. Super common. What it is is a pinched off nerve in your wrist in the carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel's got nine tendons, one nerve, so it's tight space. So who gets it? Usually you hear a lot of people who are working on their computer all day long or people with um, small wrists and other type of wrists. Talk about that. Yeah, so it's, some people are just born with, you know, smaller wrists or just a tighter carpal tunnel. Other people, some people have diabetes, some people have thyroid issues, some people have rheumatoid arthritis. All these things, anything that can cause more inflammation can lead people to get in carpal tunnel. And finally, doing repetitive motions like keyboarding, if you're a construction working using a jackhammer all the time, it's another cause. There's a lot of ways then that this can happen. I had never heard that before, that small wrists mm -hmm. and you and I both have yeah. little itsy bitsy wrists. Uh -huh. How, what does it feel like if you think, oh, could this be it? What are the signs in the hands? The most common signs is numbness and tingling in these three fingers. Oh. So thumb, index, uh -huh. long, half your ring too if you study the textbook. <laughs> and it generally happens at night early on. And people wake up numbness and tingling, they shake it out and then go back to sleep. And then this happens for a while. Eventually, people can have pain in their wrists too. They can even get weakness and clumsiness, difficulty buttoning shirts. And a lot of times people are wearing that brace so you can tell that they're suffering from that. Well, there are treatments, and I didn't know, we'll talk about the surgical aspect, but there are treatments that are non-invasive. And I think it's important to always try non-invasive things first. Um, First thing, the bracing, nighttime bracing helps a lot because it helps keep your wrist in a neutral position such that it opens up the tunnel and rests it. Oftentimes when people sleep, they sleep like this with their wrists bent, that's gonna cause carpal tunnel syndrome. No, I, th I think I'm like in a pretzel every night. I do the same thing too. <laughs> okay, so don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, is this something that can be cured or are we just going to kind of find a way to be comfortable with it? So I like to think of carpal tunnel in terms of a box that's too tight. And you either decrease the inflammation on the inside, which is what steroid shots can do to help. However, ultimately it's kind of an anatomy problem and you have to make the box bigger, which is what surgery does. All right, so you've gone through maybe physical therapy, tried all the things, but there are options. There is hope because the surgery is quite simple. It is relatively super straightforward. It, there are two ways to do it. There's endoscopic, which doctors will use a little scope and a little device to help release the ligament with a small cut on the wrist right around here. And then the final way is an open approach, which is a small cut right around here on the wrist. Both ways are super safe, and it all depends on the physician who's doing it and you know what they like to do, what they offer, and um, and like how severe their mm -hmm. carpal tunnel is too. And what is recovery like? Recovery is pretty quick. It's about two weeks to heal the skin or so. I'd say about six weeks until you're like really fully weight bearing. But most people do are feeling pretty good at the two week mark. And that's the thing, doctor. You don't have to suffer for so long. I hear people all the time, months and months, whereas this can be local anesthesia mm -hmm. for this treatment. Usually one wrist at a time. Correct, mm -hmm. I would not do two <laughs> wrists at a time. It makes, the, it makes life rather difficult. The recovery time oh, really absolutely. difficult, yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, in terms of how we do it, what type of anesthesia, uh, generally, I like to do it either under local anesthesia only, so we just give a little mm -hmm. bit of numbing medicine in the wrist, that's the most painful part, or we do it under um, what we call like a twilight state where the patient isn't fully asleep, similar to colonoscopy, um, where they get a little bit of sleepy medicine, we numb up the wrist still and do the surgery and get it done and get them home. And it sounds easy. 
just within two weeks time starting to get back to normal and this is your area of expertise so if you or someone mm -hmm. you know is suffering reach out yeah. the hands the upper extremities we're in good hands yes with you, literally. good hands literally the hope is available don't have to suffer any more hand specialists at multiple locations at the University of Utah Health thank you so much all that information on your screen we'll put a link on our website thank, thank you, you to the University of Utah Health for this sponsored interview